poor posture, back pains, frequent falls, sounds familiar? You may not realize this is an issue until you sustain an injury such as a fracture or a broken leg, a broken hip, or a broken shoulder. But don't worry, join me with a back exercise strengthening routine and I will guarantee you will greatly reduce these problems with consistency. My aglaw na tong tanan. I'm Nathan, I'm your occupational therapist, and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. Your back problem is caused by several factors. It could be sitting for long hours, such as somebody who is working in an office and sitting for a long time. Or it could also be inactivity when you are just lounging around or you're sitting watching TV. It could also happen after a serious accident such as a car wreck, sports injury, or even a fall. These will cause some areas to go weak and some areas to tighten and contract. But imagine, there are exercises that you can do to mitigate your back pain and weakness. But enough talking, let's start moving. Before we get started, just a reminder, please consult your doctor or your therapist before starting any new program to determine if these exercises are suitable for you. The first exercise to strengthen your back while sitting down is to sit upright. So what you want to do is to scoot up from your chair or from your couch and you're not leaning back against your backrest. So you sit upright, hands on your lap, and try to hold that for about 10 counts, 10 to 15 counts. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So try to practice that every hour or every commercial break if you are watching TV. To bring sitting upright to the next level, we are going to do the seated cobra. So what you want to do is to put your hands towards the back and push down against your chair or your couch or your bed and bring your chest up and forward like this. So you are also going to extend your back when you're doing this exercise. Hold that for 10 to 30 counts. So for this practice, we're just going to do 10 counts. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slowly release and relax, and that is your seated cobra. Threading the needle while sitting down will help you with your back mobility and strength. So in order to do this, just put one hand on your lap, bring your right hand up, and then thread that arm between your left arm and your left thigh. So like this, and then look to the opposite side all the way as far as you can go, and then hold that for a few seconds and then come back up. So let's do three of that with our right arm up, all right? So arm up, thread the needle, hold that for a few seconds, come back up. Let's do that again through the hole and come back up. One more time with our right arm, thread the needle, look back, and come back up. Let's do the left arm. So, right hand on your lap, left arm up, thread that left arm through the right arm and leg, and hold that for a few seconds, come back up. Let's do that three more times. One, hold, come back up. Two, three, and then come back to your starting position and relax. That is your seating, threading the needle. Doing the hitchhiker pose might look very easy, but trust me, holding each position for 10 to 30 seconds each will really work your back muscles. So put your arms straight, thumbs pointing up, back straight as well. Bring your arms overhead, hold that for 10 to 30 seconds. Let's start with 10 seconds. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it lower. Thumbs at eye level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit lower now, lower than the shoulder level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slowly bring it down. Type down below how long you can hold each position. Let's see who can hold it the longest. But don't push yourself too hard, okay? And that is your sitting hitchhiker pose. For the next few exercises, you will need light weights, such as canned food or two to three pounds of dumbbells, depending on how much you can tolerate. The first exercise is just a bended row. So coming from the side, back straight, lean forward slightly, put your hands down, and you're going to pull your elbows up like this. Try to feel the squeeze from your back when you pull your elbows up, all right? Keep a back straight and bend from the hips, okay? Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that is your bended rowing. The Russian twist is an effective core strengthening exercise and a back exercise to get your back stronger. So, what you want to do is to bring your legs up, press your feet together, hands together with your light weights. If you cannot tolerate your light weights yet, just put your hands together like this and you go side to side. And if you cannot bring your legs up together and hold it there for a few counts, you can lean back, put your feet down, but do not lean against your backrest, not like this. So just be off your backrest and you will do the twisting, bringing your hands side to side, all right? So let's start. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let me show you how it would look like if you cannot bring your legs up. So slightly lean back, feet down and do it like this one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and that is your russian twist before we move on to the next exercise i am going to do the attendance check just to make sure that everybody is following along and not just merely watching all right, so just type down below the phrase stronger back. So again, type down below stronger back. So the next exercise to strengthen your back while sitting down is the seated deadlift. So your starting position is to spread your legs, feet apart, knees apart, knees pointing out, and bring your weight in between your legs with arms straight. Don't bring it up like this. Don't lift from your shoulder. So just relax your arms straight down. You're going to bend from the hips and then come back up like that. Hips up, all right? So bend down, up. Let's do 10. One, back up. Two, make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that is your seated deadlift. Doing the squat, even with light weights in each hand, is a very effective compound exercise. So this will also improve the strength of your back. So just put your Hands down, relax, arms relax, and you're just going to sit down. And then come back up. So keep holding your weights. If you cannot tolerate with weights yet, just put it down. Just go doing the squats. But bring your shoulders back 
and keep your back upright. Lean forward, come back up and sit back down slowly. Make sure your chair doesn't have wheels, okay? You don't want to have any injuries while doing these exercises, okay? Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is your squats. The seated cat and camel, or some people call this the seated cat and cow, is a very effective back mobility exercise and a back strengthening exercise at the same time. So what you wanna do is to sit upright first, hands on your knees, on top of your knees, and then you're going to round your back first. Round your back and slide your hands down. Then slowly come back up. Lift your chest up and arc your back. Hold each position for a few seconds. Just do that two more times. Slide your hands down, round your back. Slowly come up. Slide your hands up. Lift your chest up and look up. Arc your back. One more time. Slide your hands down. Slowly round your back. And then come back up. Slowly. Lift your chest up. Arc your back. And hold that for a few seconds. Do that several times. It is a very good back mobility exercise and a really good cool down exercise after doing all those heavier lifting and heavier movements a while ago. So there you go. Those are the exercises that you can do to strengthen your back even while sitting down. So it is not enough to have a flexible back. It is also very important to have a strong back to prevent injuries, avoid falling, and to reduce pain. If you find this video helpful, please click on that subscribe button. And if you know anybody who will benefit from this video, share it to them, send it to them, or better yet, share this to your social media accounts so that it will reach to people who don't have access to therapy. But just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, palam! Shh.